We want to make the shadows visible as well as the objects on the screen. That's why we need to add a background rectangle as a template. So let's create a new rectangle from here. Holding Shift plus Alt, create the rectangle. Then reset the position. Zoom out a bit and make it bigger, maybe like this. Actually, let's make the size exactly 1920. 1080. Most of the screens are on that aspect ratio. And reset the camera again. Now it'll cover all the screen. But as we've seen on the website, you can rotate to the left and right and see the outside world. One thing to notice is that the machine is inside the rectangle right now. Let's unlock the machine and move it a little bit left. Still, we can not see the shadow. There are several reasons for this. Let's lock the machine again. First reason is that we didn't define a lighting material to the background rectangle. Currently, it's set to none. Set it to Fong. See, now you can see the shadow because now it's reflecting the light. However, the light is coming from too high right now. I want to change the position of the light too. I'll reset its position again. And look at it from right and move it a little bit back. Let's see from the front. Better. There's the shadow, but it's just behind it so we don't actually see. Maybe we can move the light up and right just a bit, just to be sure the shadow is visible. Besides, the light is too strong right now. Let's decrease the intensity from here. But first, we should change the background color of the rectangle so we can see the shadow better. Here, I want to use the RGB values for the background color. Let me copy and paste it here. Yeah, just paste it here. Use the values 93, 92, 184. All right, now we can see the shadow and light better. And I'm happy with this position of the light. Maybe we can add a spotlight later or change the positions of the light. That really depends on your wish.